talking about uh, Nice. We're talking about that horrible, horrible slaughter there. I'm joined by Jeff Hall. He's the director of the NATO Association of Canada. And we all know about NATO. We all know about the, the treaties. And we've seen our leaders last night and this morning saying, well, we're standing with each other. But no one is standing up and saying, here is what we are going to do. Is there something that you could recommend to political leaders, or is NATO going to look at this and say, well, here's something tangible we can do? Well, that was one of the greatest challenges of last night and some of the more recent terrorist attacks, whether it was in Turkey or even last year with France, when you yeah. and I were sitting here talking about it right that night. Well, that's the, the point. It keeps on going, you know, and people are saying, yeah. well, we're, at, we're dealing with it. The president says, oh, no, we have the right action. Well, every six months, there's another one. Yeah, it's a lot of hot air, I think. Well, yeah. It's great they're standing together, but maybe they should start so moving in the right direction. So let you and I be accused of hot air. Tell me what we can do. <laughs> one of the first things to do is countries have to share their intelligence a lot better than what they've been doing in the past. There is a lot of good intelligence gathering, even surprisingly in France. They actually have great anti-terrorism teams, but they got to share the information with their colleagues. Is there a risk of, of a breach of security when they share it? Because I know, and I've been close to the intelligence community in the past, another job, and they say, well, if we share it with this country, they're going to leak it. That's one of the challenges. People don't trust each other fully. And look what's happening in Europe now. You have the Brexit. You have countries that, you know, used to be ruled by bullets and barbed wire that all got together. And now we're seeing walls go up, deglobalization yeah. starting. And the European Union is starting to fracture a bit. And that's also adding to the challenges, even between security organizations and even military. So NATO uh, was, was, you know, post-World War II, a, a very different situation. Like, you knew who the bad guys are. You know, I mean, they were in a different uniform. Right. Now we don't know always who the bad guys are. Is NATO retooling so they can deal with this? Well, that's also going to be one of the things the next president of the United States will have to deal with, whether it's Hillary or Trump or whoever is in power down there, is to decide what's the new role of NATO coming forward, not just from the state's perspective, but all 28 member countries. they got to step it up. It's time to retool, rework, and we're also fighting a new uh, battle against a new warrior. And it's not a nation state like NATO's used to yeah. fighting. It's an ideology. It's invisible. And even that a lot of the new wars aren't being fought with bullets, it's being fought with bites of code. It's on the internet. It's within cyber. It's with ransomware. So and more... Platform. More intelligence officers, and as opposed to a soldier in the front line, because they can be in the front line. We don't even know where the front line is. Like they there, don't there is shoot. no line. There is no line anymore, because now we have the World Wide Web. It's one big matrix wrapped around the globe. So it's also the war of heart and minds. People want to feel part of a community. They want to feel uh, part of the group. And on the internet, you've got all the dark corners of the internet recruiting and, and causing issues and, and kind of fanning the flames of that ideology. That's one of their best recruiting tools, actually, is over the internet. Are you confident, Jeff, that uh, we can beat this? Do we have to be like Trump and say declare war and just go all out on it? Or One of the challenges, again, you're fighting an enemy that's invisible. It's an ideology. It's not a nation state we can go and roll tanks in and take it over right. and control it. So really, we need new tactics. We need new ways and new techniques of doing things. But the most important thing is everybody has to work together. And I just don't mean the military, law enforcement, the intelligence community. I mean the communities themselves. There's a saying there that if you see something, say something. Often a lot of these can be stopped through someone noticing something that's a little bit off and then reporting it immediately to law enforcement. Law, enforc law enforcement would prefer to know about these things just so they can check it out and investigate to help keep people safe. And uh, we're going to soon see later on the results of the investigation of last night um, and see whether in fact law enforcement let anything down. But it is not sort of a different society where you're trying to look at everybody around every corner and say, okay, this guy could be a potential, you know, mower downer? Well, the Israelis have uh, probably the best system. They have the triple D system, which is yes. deter, detect, and deny. They do protective rings around not only their airports, but events, their borders. But they also go into yeah. profiling. They do. They pick out somebody and say, okay, we think you could be a bad guy, maybe even just on the way they look. And, um, and it's been very successful. In North America, you start profiling, and people say, well, that's not fair. It's often considered uh, not politically correct. The reality is they have to find the right medium and the right balance between that. We've got to keep people safe, but we don't want to infringe on people's rights either. It's There's got to be a happy balance. It's, it's a balance. tough one. It is. Okay, Jeff Hall, thanks very much. My pleasure. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, Pooja has the headlines, and we're going to have more on that attack in Nice. Right back after this.